very much, Roland. Congratulations to all those guys working hard on that roof. Uh, we're looking at uh, 69 degrees. Remember a couple mornings ago, we were in the 40s. Well, this is the Gulf air. It all rolled in and it's really coming in strong with that strong south wind. We peaked yesterday at about uh, 39 miles an hour. And we're going to be up there again today, so very windy, uh, boaters, truckers, even the, the guys with the big trailers, if you're not carrying a load, you might catch the wind the wrong way and it might de de deviate you. 78 was our high yesterday, we'll be right at 78 again today, and as you see, we did get one hundredth of an inch of rain yesterday. Well, the winds will be the big story today, but we're getting ready for an even bigger story, and that is kind of a springtime storm system. You'll see right about here that overnight, by sunrise tomorrow, the winds will definitely be out of the north. It'll be clearing us up and drying us out, but it'll still be very windy. So we've got it going this way, and then we got it going this way as the front comes through. The front, uh, the, the interesting part of it is running into some very volatile uh, atmospheres. Now, we have uh, small craft advisories out. We even have gale warnings out for the coastal waters. High wind advisories for everybody from uh, Nueces County southward uh, down into the valley, and you can see right about there. So anybody who's driving with a high-profile vehicle, I'm talking a Winnebago or something like that, you're going to be dealing with uh, some strong headwinds and even light cars will be going to kind of kind of go this way on you. So the winds are strong because everything is flowing into this area of low pressure here that's forming. This is the storm system. That front will move through our area tonight and you can see right about here, northeast Texas from Dallas over to Texarkana are under a possibility of some severe weather and this will all be occurring this afternoon and tonight. The good news is that by tomorrow morning, Saturday morning, a lot of this blows away. So we have an increasing rain chance, thunder showers overnight, heaviest stuff to the north, clearing skies for Saturday, cooler weather as we get into the weekend. That's your seven day forecast. We'll be back with more on sunrise coming up right after this.